Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show y'all how to achieve a super simple, easy, brown smoky eye. I'm talking like three to four steps, no more than that. I promise you this tutorial is about to be something perfect, especially if you are a beginner. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved the smoky eye right here, then just continue to watch. Okay, so I'm starting with a full face of makeup, except for my eyes. I really just wanted to focus on the eyeshadow part here. So I've literally done everything else except for my eyeshadow. So for the smoky eye, I wanted to make things as easy as possible. So we are just gonna use one palette for this eye, and that is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. So for my Caymanian followers, I did actually pick this palette up on island, yes! Winning! I got it from Kirk Freeport and it's actually cheaper on island than it is in the US. Say what? Yeah girl, so hurry up, get your coins, and go get them. This palette is actually amazing. It's one of those palettes that I would actually travel with because it's got a little bit of everything. It's got the browns, it's got a little pop of color, it's got a little bit of shimmer, it's got all the mattes that you need. Like. You can't go wrong with this palette. That is my spiel, and I'll stop talking about it now. All right, so for this smoky eye, I'm gonna come in a little bit closer so you guys can get in on all the action. Okay, all up close and personal. Hi. So first things first, I'm gonna grab like a neutral shade, something close to my skin tone to start as my transition shade. So I'm gonna go in with Riff. And I'm just taking one of my Morphe blending brushes. This is Y16, it's just a round buffer. This is what I really love to use in my crease for my transition colors. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with the deepest color that we're gonna use this entire time. And because we're sticking with like a brown smoky eye, it's just gonna be a super dark brown. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Punk all over my lid with a flat brush. Just gonna pack that color on to my lid. As you can see, I'm not swiping, I am just packing the color. That way we are gonna get a lot more color payoff. Okay, so next I'm just gonna grab this angled blending brush by Morphe. This is their Y19 brush. With no product on it, I'm just gonna go in and diffuse these lines a little bit. The thing about smoky eyes is that it's all about the blending. All right, and then next I wanna go in with like a medium brown to kind of marry these two shades together. All right, and then now I'm just gonna go back in with Riff, which was our transition shade in our crease, and just continue to blend that back in. And now I'm just gonna take Good As Gone, which is like a cooler dark brown, and I'm just gonna keep that into my crease to kind of marry the transition shade and the lid shade together. So again, just using my angled brush for this because that can get really into the crease. And then I'm just going back in with our first blending brush that we used with our transition shade, but without adding any additional products onto it, just gonna use whatever is left on here to kind of diffuse out these lines. All right, so I am pretty happy with how our lids look. Now I'm gonna focus on the bottom of my eyes. So what I'm gonna do now is go in with a pencil eyeliner. My favorite is the Lacole Smoky Waterproof Eyeliner by Black Up. So I'm just gonna take the eyeliner and line my waterline. All right, and then all I'm gonna do is grab one of the brown shades that we used on our lid and just smoke out on like right underneath the waterline to get that little smoky effect under there as well. So I'm gonna go in with shade Good As Gone, which was that ashy brown. And to smoke it out, I'm using my flat brush by Morphe. This is the Y21 brush. Okay, now you don't wanna dip into too much product because you really don't wanna look like a raccoon. It's better that you go in with a little bit and then add a little bit more as necessary. And you always wanna tap off the excess product off of your brush so you don't end up with too much fallout. Again, ain't nobody trying to look like a raccoon. So see, so you can kinda of see the difference between a smoked out lash versus just a liner lash. It just 
I don't know, it just marries it together and makes it look a little bit better. Ta-da! All right guys, so that is it for this look. I told y'all it was gonna be super simple, super easy, and super quick. Just because it's a smoky eye does not mean that it has to be complicated, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.